That bloke what stabbed you, they know him, Robert and Daniel. Daniel? What's he got to do with this? Look, Michelle was kind enough to give us that money. 200 it's... measly quid? That's not even enough for a week in Fingerola. Not if you want to eat, and I've made that mistake before. Yeah, but we can't just go around suing the neighbours, can we? They know him. They've got a responsibility. <sighs> Gemma, will you just stop pushing, please? You don't even know if we can claim or not, do you? Maybe not. Oh, right, she's answering our door now, is she? But I know a man who does. Here, you guys got a case for me. Oh, hello. Hi, Ty. Right, Pop. Look, am I giving you a lift to this antiques class or what? What is that? Well, I'm guessing Art Nouveau. You can tell from my corset. Mm. Right. I mean, I'm used to have one like that. I think it was from the pound shop. Excuse me. It's a genuine antique, that is. I always wonder what employee discount is at a pound shop. Everything's only a quid in the first place. It's better say just have it. I think that was my mum's policy and all, but she never worked there. <laughs> How much do you want for it? Well, you're not buying it. Supporting me on this antiques course or what? I thought you said you had faith in me. Yeah, and I do. Of course I do. My nan used to have that crying boy painting in a bog. I don't think it was the original, though. What if we said 40? Pounds? No, pesetas. Yes, of course, pounds. I don't know. It's. Well, why don't you just lend it her for the class? Go on, then. Right, am I giving you a lift or what? Yes. See you later. Okay. <laughs> oh. What's uh, Oliver doing here? Oh, yeah, uh, Leanne's going to stay for a few nights. What? Yeah, Nick sold the flat. So the new tenants are waiting to get in and Si and Leanne are moving the stuff out. Hey, you OK, love? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, no, it's just a bit of a bombshell, isn't it, you know, with everything that's going on? Uh, oh, man, I can't believe Nick could do that. Yeah. Sorry, I should have asked you what she... She was pretty desperate. Oh, no, it's fine. Of course it is. Right, I'll, uh, I'll sit with him in the bank, unless you want to. No, you're fine, you go. Be lovely. <laughs> Hold on, one more. I mean, how many married couples would say, can you take a picture of me whilst I reach for the bonbons and my husband grins like an idiot underneath? Please, Craig, this is from our honeymoon period, the first day I worked at the shop. Would you take the flaming picture, Craig? It's harder than it looks standing like this. It's the police. Hello? I'm going to the pub. You lock up. You do know it's fraud what you're doing. Well, it's only a competition, just a little fib. You're deliberately telling lies to get your hand on some big prize. In my book, that's fraud. Yes, well, you're more au fait than we are with the criminal element. Is that a crack about Jenny? I, I thought he meant Dennis. No, I meant Gemma. I mean, you must admit it is a bit of a rogues gallery. You can get down now. Oh, oh thank goodness. goodness. My hamstring was giving me jip. Everything OK? Yeah, fine. I don't really get how it's Robert's fault. Let's just see, I know a little bit about what went on. What? About Chesney getting stabbed? Yeah, from Robert. The bloke who did it is an old pal of his. See, I told you. I'm not saying we'd win if we went to court, but you've definitely lost out with work. As soon as Robert knew this, Rich, he should take some responsibility for what happened. That's what I've been saying. I should be on one of them Judge Grinder shows. I'm wasted behind that kebab counter, me. Yeah, but Robert weren't to blame, was he? It's that rich that needs to be punished. Like I say, I wouldn't advise going to court. But let me take the case and I just might be able to prick his conscience, especially with what I know. Does that mean money? I reckon it might. I think that sounds like blackmail. I think it sounds like justice and cashola. Come on, you two must be sick of having beans and jacket potato every night for your tea. Really? Oh, uh, Sarah, this is gone. Oh, OK, I'll just be a tick. Now, please, if Gary doesn't mind. You having one, Gary? No, you're all right. Did you have to buy us one back? Uh, two pints of lager, please, Toya. Sure. You didn't have to do that. I know. 
I also know that you're skint. Well, unemployment does that to you. Oh, you'll find some at your craft, to you? Shall I put some on the jukebox? Oh, yeah, something really sexy and naughty and exotic. Done deal. <laughs> Can I have uh, two points of lager and tea, Maria, please? Uh, yeah, I'm just serving here. Uh, Sean, far, please. On it, boss. Just need to bob these in the dishwasher. You know me, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> So I said to him, I told you the left one's big. Oh. Hey, you have it? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> hey, listen, sorry, thanks for letting us stay over. Honestly, your lifesaver would have been out on the street. Oh, Eva would have had you. <laughs> Mind you, stay at that flat. I'd rather be on the street. <laughs> hey, listen, you get to practice with Oliver and all. Yeah. Two points of lager and a tea, Maria, please. It's OK, I'll do it. Sorry to keep you waiting, madam. Hey, you all right? Yeah, of course. Um, it's filling up, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm about going to see Swallow Bill one feeding, but give us a shout if you need me. Will do. So, I said to him, I told you the left one was big. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me and a few girls going to hers for tea. My dad said he'd give me a lift home. I will, Grandad. It's fine. You shouldn't have lied. So, what about this new flat of yours? What about it? Can I see it? Um. No, 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 I need to get you home. Oh, go on. They're not expecting me back for another hour. Seeing as I'm here, please. Come on. Uh, hi, table for one, is it? It's uh, Robert I've come to see. You've got five minutes. Uh, well, as you can see, we're not exactly chocolate. Listen, I'll get straight to the point. Chesney's asked me to take his case. Case? What case? The stabbing. But that had nothing to do with us. We both know better than that. You better come through. Can you feel it? What? That weird feeling when you go back to somewhere that used to be your home. I left last night. Why do you have to make everything so dramatic? Hey, Toya, our cake is put four quid in this and nothing's coming on. Oh, Toya, sorry. Uh, yeah, you have to give it a bit of a whack. Mm. Uh... Hiya. 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 Yeah, hiya. I got... I'll... I'll... I'll uh... <coughs> you have to do it a bit fondly. <laughs> Hey! Cheers, Steve. This one really gets a going. <laughs> and you call me dramatic. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to nip to Deb's because I brought lemons. Oh, send Sarah. No, I uh, could do a bit of fresh air. Hey, look at this. Isn't this great, eh? <sighs> this is everything we've ever dreamed of. Yeah, it's brilliant. I won't be long. OK. Oh, Steve, I was just going to text you. Uh, I'm stopping here for a bit. Nick sold the flat, so... So he's Oliver here? Yeah, yeah, he's at the back. Oh, do you mind if I... Yeah, yeah, come through. Uh, I'll, uh... No. Give him this and give him a kiss from me. I can't. Oh, OK. Right. It's nice Leanne being here as well, isn't it? Can't be easy, though, can it? Sisters living together. Uh, it's only temporary, apparently. That's what they all say. Is that did me? Never mind him. That figurine. Broke me out, that did. Letting go of that. Well, you didn't look very heartbroken. I don't want to kill the mood. Can you believe the nerve of that girl? She goes from catching off Nick to catching off her sister. Oh, yeah, come on. Where else is she supposed no. to go? Anyway, it's none of our business anymore, is it? Hi, sweetheart. Two gin and tonics, please. Large. Very busy, isn't it? Oh, bad, yeah. Well, if I was Toya, I would be very happy. I mean, Leanne, under the same roof as Peter. You are like some harbinger of doom, you, honestly. You should be wearing a black cowl and carrying the same. I'm just saying, I know Toy's keen to start a family with Peter, but moving Leanne in? Peter's ex? It'll end in tears, I'm telling you. I'm not suggesting I take this to court. I just think you should offer a settlement of some kind for wages lost, etc. Are you really this mercenary? And what about Daniel? You think I'm going to keep him in a job with you blackmailing me like this? Blackmail? I'm just saying that Chesney needs compensating. 
I'm sure Daniel wants to see justice done as much as the rest of us. Well, justice is being done. Rich has been arrested. Yeah, but he's not just the guy who stabbed Chesney, is he, Robert? He's your mate, the drug dealer who sold drugs to my uncle for one. You promised that you keep quiet about what happened. Yeah, if nobody else got hurt, well, guess what? Somebody did. You haven't got a leg to stand on. We're not liable. Really? Then why did Michelle give Chesney 200 pounds this morning? And a lovely card saying, I'm sorry. It was a sweet thought, but uh, it could be an expensive one. I'll be in touch. I just felt sorry for him. I didn't realise better call Saul was going to stick his neb in. Yeah, well, he better be as useless as I think he is. Well, that sweet thought of yours might just have cost me my restaurant. And you? I suggest you talk to your brother or cousin or uncle or whatever the hell he is to you and sort this. Oh, hey, love, I wonder where you've got to. Hey, what are you doing here? Sorry, I must feel like we haven't moved. <laughs> oh, you just come around and see Oliver? Yeah, uh, and my mum wanted to get you a bottle of champagne, oh. you know, to celebrate kind of thing. Um, do you want me to pour you one? Oh, no, you know, I won't, actually. I should probably get back. Are you all right, Ty? Yeah, do you know what? I'm just, uh, just pretty knackered, actually. Oh, you'll have to get used to that being landlady. <laughs> do you want a cuddle with your auntie Toya? Yeah. No, you all right? I stink a bit. Breakfast is at the same time every single day, even on weekends. And if you're just two minutes late, and it is two minutes because I've timed it, you get a call up the stairs. Well, oh, to be honest, me and our Jason could have done with a bit more of that. I'm allowed one hour of TV on my phone at night. It's either one or the other. I'm not allowed both. One hour. And there's literally nothing to do on there. Like, zero and no kids. It's all old people. Bible studies three times a week. Bible studies. It's like being in a period drama. Look, well, I'm... I know it's not ideal, though, I know but... they're doing their best, but... My dad and I did everything together. I watched the same telly. Like the same music. Always went round adventures together. Summer. Now I'm not even allowed to talk about him. I miss him. He was good company. A laugh, you know. He was like you two. You don't have to look at me like that. I'm not exactly little orphan Annie. I'm fine. I suppose I'd best be off. Billy, we've got to do something. I know. One more for luck. My knees are killing me. Do you want some more? Would you two shush, please? Say cheese. Cheese! Ah, that should do it. Oh. I'm going to get off, Mary, if that's OK. Yes, we're finished. Thanks, Bethany. Why are we doing this again? Well, like I said, it's just a project Norris and I are working on. So why don't you two go upstairs and get changed quickly before your father comes home, and then we'll we'll take down the tree. Yeah, but well, well, why, why were they in the photo? I, I mean, who are they supposed to be? Our kids, our grandkids, or what? Or the bloke from the corner shop's kids. Yeah. Well, that's just the point. It's enigmatic. The mystery might just give us the edge when they're choosing who goes through to the next round. Enigmatic. But what do you mean by enigmatic? What did the police want earlier? They didn't say. DC Lee is coming round later. Do you want me to be there with you? Do you think Rita's right? I is it fraud to pretend that we're married? I mean, may maybe we should think about getting married for real. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the law loves a fake marriage, doesn't it? Ask Maria. Oh, but that was different. They lived in different cities. I mean, he was gay, for goodness sake. <laughs> I mean, you and I have known each other for years, and would it be so difficult to believe that we, um, that we, uh, might have fallen in love? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it would be. <sighs> Norris, this prize means I get to see my son. My grandson. I can't afford to get to South Africa otherwise. Y you want us to get married legally just to win a competition? Oh, no, no, no. You want your head examining. Well, 
What about Emily in Peru? You were desperate to see her. Well, I am, yeah, but... I I've got to win this prize, Norris. We both do. We can't risk disqualification. <clears throat> Norris Cole, will you marry me? Oh, I must be mad, but oh, okay. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Shall we have another one? You have to pay for your drinks. Now. Well, they have to draw you in with these free ones, don't they, Gary? Oh no, no, I'm, I'm all right. Cheers. Oh, have another drink, Gary. It's a party. <laughs> I've been catching drinks all night. Well, you don't want to spoil your run, then, do you? Go on, have a new Look, you deserve it. You deserve it for the smile you put on my lovely granddaughter's face. Sarah. All right, do you want the same again? Thank you. Well, that's, that's very kind, thank you. Oh, come on, you're one of the family now, aren't you? Hey, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, that tills Jenny. Uh, well, it's just a bit sticky. Oh, been saying that for years. <laughs> okay, well, so what should I do? Hit it like the jukebox. Just had to be a character to the place. Exactly. Oh, the Andrea just came off the wall. What did you do to it? What did I do to it? What do you think? I dried my arms. Oh, I nearly broke my foot. Shall we go to the flying arse for one? Oh, yeah, that's good. Ah, uh, nouveau, you said. No, you said that. What's up, love? I was the laughing stock in my class, that's what's up. I could barely look at Kim. Wow, what happened? Well, it's my own fault, really. I should have noticed that it said made in Thailand and bottom. Oh, Gina. Well, don't blame me. The guy in the shop said it was an antique. Oh, sure, well, that I got. I want my money back. No, a deal is a deal. You will give Fizz her money back. Or you can pay me rent, Gina. It's up to you. Fine. Thank you. Oh, time, I'm not good at this. Oh, come on. You're just getting started, aren't you? Let's have a drink. Hey, looking everywhere for you. You're missing your own party oh, in there. Hey, you know me, Captain of the Fun Police. Are you crying? What's up? I've got my period. I'm tired. Oh, I feel like such a failure. Hey, don't be daft. No, it's just going to be like Toby all over again. Oh, the look on his face each time I told him. His disappointment as well as my own. Well, that's only natural, isn't it? Oh, and then there's the money. Do you know, I could see him sometimes thinking what else we could have spent that money on. It would still be exactly where we were anyway. So. Yeah, well, Peter doesn't think like that. He's a good listener and he'll understand. His support group taught him that much anyway. Well, I can't tell him tonight. <clears throat> I mean, not with the, the party on. Oh, like he's going to be bothered about that. Oh, I just don't want his memories of, of this, you know, owning his own port, but he's so excited. I just, I just don't want that mixed up with it. Oh, come here. They're still locked up, aren't they? There's no chance that they could get released. No, none at all. I come with good news. Oh, thank you. So, the investigating officers have found laptops and phones belonging to Neil, which establish a connection between him and Nathan. There's logs of calls, texts, photos, all sorts. Have the CPS got involved? They've authorised charges, yes. Well, I have to testify at trial. Uh, it depends if they plead guilty or not. I don't know if I can face him again. If they don't plead guilty, there's special measures we can put in place, like a, a video link, so you wouldn't have to see him again. You are the bravest person I know. And I'll be with you every step of the way. Do you hear me? Daniel! Glad I've caught you. Oh, hello. You didn't give me your number. I love the article. Really? I want to publish it tomorrow. Do you know the young lad who was stabbed? You can't publish it. Why? I said it was just a writing exercise. Uh, and I don't think that my boss would like it. Daniel, love, 
You're a part-time waiter. I admire your loyalty, but this article could be a passport to a proper job with us. The stories like this don't just fall into your lap, trust me. I'm sorry. I gave my word. I am sorry. Yeah, I know that lab was stabbed, and I know what happened. You interested? We're a hit. I tell you what, it's rocking out there tonight. Mm -hmm. Well done. Mm -hmm. Good. You gonna come out? Nah, do you know what? I'm all right here for a bit. I had a headache earlier. Oh, love. I knew there was something. Oh. I knew yeah. it. No, go on, you go. I want you to remember tonight for the rest of your life. How's the Wi-Fi password? It keeps cutting out. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though, seriously, this place is falling to pieces. <laughs> you should have seen Steve and Liz make an exit when that hand drive mm. off the wall. <laughs> uh, staff only Steve, all lowercase, mate. Got it. Hey, do you want to come out and have a look at this party your dad's throwing? Well, yeah, OK, cool. Yeah? You know what, I think you're right. What about? I am going to remember this night for the rest of my life. <sighs> Next, Princess Diana's sons, Princes William and Harry, talk openly and at length about their mother for the very first time in Diana, Our Mother, Her Life and Legacy. Whilst on ITV2 next tonight, which couple will be leaving the villa as winners of Love Island 2017? It's the live final. <laughs> <laughs>